Hello and welcome back to Scam School in partnership with DAD New Blood for the second video in this series aimed to help you with this year's 2017 briefs. As always, don't forget that you can still download the briefs from DNAD's site. We've got a link in the description and be sure to check out Scam School's main channel for any extra tips or advice on scamping. For today's lesson, we wanted to focus on the briefs themselves. Everyone understands that the brief is the gateway to creativity. What is often overlooked in briefs is just how many clues and possible solutions lie within it. At some point, someone has meticulously chosen what details about this project to share and which to leave out, parts they feel are relevant enough to mention, supporting assets that they feel are necessary to influence potential ideas. And today, we're going to help you pluck out those little pieces that might just help your ideas stand out. We're going to use a brief from last year's New Blood Awards, so not to influence your thinking for this year's briefs. The first place to pick up art direction tips is in the supporting assets. Most, if not all DNAD New Blood briefs come with a pack of supporting assets, usually adverts from recent campaigns. Now your ideas won't necessarily be a continuation of these adverts, but instead you should look at what gives this brand its personality. Look to its logo, look at where it's positioned across different adverts, look at if it's played with or modified. The answer to each of these questions gives you a potential insight to that brand, it demonstrates if their logo can be a potential creative space to play with or if they prefer it left alone and in always the same place. A caveat with all this advice is to not follow it if your idea suffers for it. The idea is always first, and if your idea requires tweaking their logo, go for it. Don't be restricted. These tips are for general art direction clues. Back to the supporting assets. The other thing to look at is the copy. This is firstly great for copywriters on tone of voice, but more importantly, look at the fonts they use, their positioning, the colours. Just as before, each of these questions can give you an idea of how this brand works. To give an example of why this is important, if your idea is a bit on the wild side and nothing like what this brand has done before, it's worth considering keeping their fonts, logos and copy positioning what they're used to. That way you'll ensure your idea feels part of the brand and not just totally off anything they would ever do. Next thing to look for when you get your brief is the brand guidelines. Often a very long and sometimes dull looking piece, it actually serves a vital purpose. It shows how the brand likes to operate and what rules they abide in their own ads. Just as before, don't be restricted by this if your idea doesn't need it. But if the brief has this document, then there has been a conscious choice that is important. These documents are also great for seeing lots of examples of layouts for the brand. Do they like to be neat and have everything line up in a graphical way, or are they more loose and free? Now these tips aren't going to give you an awarding idea, but they're going to make whatever idea you do have look professional and considered. Lastly, the brief itself. It really pays to read these briefs a few times over, and more importantly, to look at the words or phrases it uses. If a brief, for example, talks about a party mood to its advertising, that gives you a clear insight to the sort of visual world you could consider. If the brief talks about the target audience loving to travel and explore, again, another visual route opens up, much in terms of imagery, but even for font choices, colours, style. Really take the time to read through the briefs and analyse them. Your first wave of ideas are going to come from this very document, so give it some love. So guys, I've said it a few times during this video, these tips aren't something you absolutely have to follow if you want to win a pencil. A lot of great ideas have blown out all the usual brands' visual styles and gone on to win. But most ads win not only because they're a great idea, but because they feel like a great campaign for the brand and only that brand. Keep an eye out for the next video in the series, where we will talk about how to present ideas. Until then, thanks for watching.